But uh, if you're willing, I'd like to ask you, Michael Hieronymus, <laughs> what is the biggest risk? Oh, goodness. The biggest risk. Um, if you're just talking about the commercial real estate industry um, overall, I would say the biggest risk that I can think of at this point would be uh, dry up in liquid and um, access to debt and a significant shift in uh, interest rates. Um, a lot of the acquisitions that have been occurring have been at you know compressed cap rates and so forth. If, if we have a large push on um, interest rates, um, there's one of two things that can happen. Either your risk premium uh, that your cap rates are built upon is, is going to compress even further, which is probably going to mean to um, drive people out of the, the asset type, or you're going to have increases in, in capitalization rates, um, which is going to have severe effects on valuations uh, for all the asset types, really. Um, so I would say that's the biggest risk at this point. Um, the other risk that I think, at least uh, from an investor perspective, and you know, we try to we try to balance this out and be conservative, is that, and I've seen this in the past. We saw this in the Great Financial Crisis, where sort of whatever has happened in the past, people project into the future, and so we have these you know, great rental increases, you know, you're looking at industrial, multifamily, even, you know, some increases in, in, in retail and office, and you go, and you try to extrapolate that out into the future. I would say that there's a risk there in that um, if you're anticipating those rental increases to continue on um, ad infinite, um, that you're probably not underwriting uh, very well. And you, you may be setting yourself up for risk and uh, potential issues in the future. I would be uh, looking at uh, forecasted demand, looking at jobs, how they're shifting within your metro area, how looking at the um, uh, changes within the different industries uh, that are focused on your asset type. And be conservative in your underwriting because I think once again there's there's going to be maybe a slowdown in the future. Things can't run 100% hot for, for forever. Um, so once again, if if uh, these supply chain issues continue and if interest rates uh, expand, um, it may signal a cool down in the economy and those rental increases may not continue in the future. So I would say one of the biggest risks is just you know be conservative in your underwriting. Uh, when you're doing your acquisitions and, and make sure that those uh, those rental increases make sense and, and buy on actuals today. Don't, don't buy on anticipated returns in the future. <laughs>